More Plates, More Dates has no idea how to work out. Or does he? Coach Greg, and in today's video, More Plates, More Dates has no idea how to work out. Or does he? Well, at least that's the title of Nick Trilogy from Bodybuilding and BS's video. Derek was training with Zach as he was preparing to do the Joe Rogan podcast, and they trained back together. And so we had a rare glimpse of what Derek looks like and the knowledge he possesses about training in the gym. And so Nick scientifically dismantled his workout, and it's not good. A lot of the terminology used, the descriptions on how to work out, well, they were not correct. He is a very intelligent guy when it comes to ingredients, formulas. But when it comes to application, the hard work in the gym, he doesn't have it. But remember, Nick is an IFBB professional bodybuilder, was Mr. USA. He's been training his entire life. Derek was a bouncer. He took PDs and went off of them. He's only on HRT and he's a very intelligent businessman. He doesn't care about training harder than last time. He hardly works out. He cares about doing his businesses, making money, and just trying to stay in I kind of shape. And so you can't expect Derek to be a genius at everything. You can be a jack of all trades or a master of one, but you can't know everything. And so did anyone actually think that Derek knew everything about the human body? That he was a genius in every single facet of training? Of course not. He doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know how to train. And so you had to expect that Derek would make some mistakes and it's no big deal. We all make mistakes. We can't be experts at everything. Let's do what you usually do for a back workout. Nothing. Start with like a lap pull down. Usually. Cool. I thought for sure Derek is gonna have a more scientific answer to that instead of just saying lap pull downs. Like. <laughs> and so Nick made the video, and to me, what's shocking is how upset it made Derek. After all, Derek does the exact same thing in several of his videos, and so Nick is making an educational video on how to train. Because hundreds of thousands of people are watching Derek train with Zach, getting misinformation. And Nick says, oh, I think I could help people by using Derek as the example. And so people will watch the video and then he can educate them on how to actually train the back effectively. Don't we all do this? Doesn't Derek do this? I know I do. And so why is it that Derek can criticize and scientifically dismantle others? But myself or Nick from Bodybuilding and BS Cat? Well, I have a theory. I personally think that Derek suffers from body dysmorphia. Think of it. He was a bouncer. Bouncers, they have to look jacked. They have to look imposing, intimidating. Derek is over six feet tall. And so he was abusing PDs to put on muscle, get bigger, to look more imposing. This is not news to you. Derek openly admits he was taking these things. And since that time, he said, what am I doing? I'm endangering my health. And so he lowered the doses and he's taking HRT likely because he had abused PDs in the past. He even owns an HRT clinic. Think about it. And so I'm sure Derek, hyper aware of how he looks. After all, his channel used to be about more plates, more dates, how to get girls, how to talk to them, how to be a man to get the girls to like you. And so of course he has body dysmorphia. How could he not? Probably one of my first bulks ever where I like went hard and uh, got a nice little moon face and became extremely unattractive and decided this was a good time to go start cold approaching. Women, they like guys with money, with physiques. They're lean, they have muscles, they're intelligent. They make a lot of money. One thing Derek has that I don't is the height. I'm five foot six manlet. Think about it, Derek being 6'1", he has to have his pick a litter with the girls. Everyone knows girls, all oh, they love the height. This wasn't for my channel, it was never intended to be an instructional of any sort whatsoever. I've barely been training this year, and I think it's pretty well known by those following that I have prioritized other things in the past several years. I've posted training videos before, but those were still never meant to be positioned from an expert opinion. And yeah, we know that Derek, it's okay. And we understand that you have other priorities such as business, making money and so on. And there's nothing wrong with that. Derek, the legs, 
You gotta start squatting, buddy. But at the same time, it's okay for him to make a video saying, don't train this way, or he named this exercise wrong, and just showing you as a human being. You can't be an expert at everything. You're the pro, dude. If you wanna post a perfect back day instructional on what we should have done with the equipment available in 40 minutes, I'm assuming we could all learn something from you. And so I take that a little sarcastic, and one guy I know that does these kind of things all the time is Johnny Shreve. He'll show a video of somebody training wrong, put them on the picture, have a squinty face and say, you know, uh, and he does a video to teach people how to actually train. No, 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 no. Everything is wrong with what he's saying. Everything is wrong. So just cancel it out of your brain and pretend like you didn't hear it. He's not doing it just to shit on the person. It's because when you put someone else who's famous in a title and you do a critical review of how they train, you're gonna get way more eyeballs. Derek, you know this, we've talked about this before. Remember when we did all those natty or nots in the past? This is what I think that guy took for this movie role. It's a complete guess, we don't know what they took. But because we put those names in the title, people watch our channel, and look at us now, we have over a million followers. You could argue it's a bit like tight to the body, but... Tight to the body. Like where I'm trying to go. That's why there's handles there to grab it wide. This is scary shit. We have to allow people to be critical of us, to examine what we're doing, and when they do something we don't like, it's okay. We're gonna go on. We have to leave our egos at the door and not care. Like a standing, like lat crunch, whatever you would call that. What? I don't know if we're like pretty toasted on lats and we'd wanna do like more of a meat of the back kind of move. A lat crunch. And so what? Nick made a video saying you called an exercise a lat crunch. It's not called a lat crunch. It's called a pullover or a cable pullover. Who cares? Does it really matter? It doesn't matter! The Rock knows it doesn't matter! The Rock's a freaking fake daddy! If I knew I was going to be picked apart, yes, I would have given more thought to describing a movement pattern. I don't think a single person here thinks a pullover would be named a crunch. I was on three hours sleep, throwing a vlog, and I didn't know or give much thought to how it would come out. And so to me, as I read these comments, this is a guy who really, really cares about being criticized. He can't handle it. And so imagine this, Derek. Imagine all the people out there with way worse physique than you. You've got the height, you're over six feet tall, above average good looking, in really great shape, have millions of dollars, are a social media superstar, the whole world looking at you, and they're still worried about what they think of you in the gym working out? Imagine what the normal person has to go through on a daily basis. They're not rich, they're not tall, they're not good looking, they're overweight, they're out of shape, and yet they still get through their day. They still have eyeballs on them. They're 300 pounds, lifting weights, doing it all wrong, and they still go to the gym. Now, if anyone knows how to deceive people, if they have muscle or not, it's Derek, let's be honest. Derek used to be known as like Dragon Ball Z delts because he had the camera perfectly positioned where his shoulders were cut off. And so for those of you watching this thinking, man, they're criticizing Derek, his shoulders aren't that big. He doesn't have that much muscle. Don't worry about it. No one cares that much. Nick is making a video for fun. He wants you to watch the video. It's a joke. You get it? Veto combat talk. For someone who does natty or not videos and picking other people apart, you are pretty sensitive when someone point out your flaws and cluelessness. You could have just humbled yourself and asked for more advice. We are all learning. And so I really think that sums it up. It's okay if Derek or yourself or anyone else doesn't know everything about everything. We are not experts on everything in this world. We're going to make mistakes and it's okay. We're all learning. But I overall, this was a great video. I think the guys Zach and Derek did some great work together. And I'm looking forward to see what else these guys do in the future on YouTube. And so imagine if every time I made a video, if every time I went to the gym, I had to worry about every single person looking at me. Every time I go to the gym, someone recognizes me. Am I gonna have to do every single set, every rep to perfection? I have to time my sets exactly, tut, time under tension, intensity, every set beyond failure, harder than last time? I just go to the freaking gym and work out. If somebody's there filming me, making fun of me, saying, oh look, he didn't do the leg press correctly. I don't care, post it. Who freaking cares?
Imagine living your life worried about being caught in every single moment. I'm on the beach walking around. My stomach is hanging out. If I'm partying harder than last time, looking like a fool dancing in circles. Who cares? Have fun. Be yourselves. And don't worry about others who are criticizing you. And so Mr. BS has some pumpkin spice. I also have pumpkin spice holiday flavors. And so who copied who? Did I copy his protein or did he copy mine? Does it matter? Who cares? Let's copy each other. Pumpkin spice. Get them both. Let us know which one you like more. Use code Greg. 10% off. Click the link in the description. Also, we got buy one book, get one free. The cookbooks, the training books, the circle die book. Enter the code free book and it's buy one and get the next one free. That means it doesn't cost anything at all for the second book. Like the video, subscribe and click the bell button. Do me that huge favor. That is the most help I'll ever need. Like the video and subscribe. And if you could leave a comment, that would be great. Watch one of the two bloops. And don't forget to go watch Nick from Bodybuilding BS's videos on Derek. Wait till you see what Derek says. You can watch his video. Judge for yourself. Was he really being that critical? Did Derek need to write that comment? And so let me know in the comment section, do you think Derek has body dysmorphia? Does it make sense that he's this upset over a simple video? Don't forget to hire me for coaching as well and follow me on Instagram, Greg Doucette, IB Pro. And until next time, I am out.